Well, good morning. It is December the 7th of 2021, Pearl Harbor Day, for those of us who remember our history. Well, today we're supposed to read Psalms 31 through 35, another five great Psalms, uh, but the one I want to talk about just for a few minutes uh, is Psalm 32, and just a few verses from there, because there's a word picture in there that always makes me chuckle and smile and, and laugh a little bit whenever I read it. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Be not like a horse or a mule without understanding, which must be curbed with bit and bridle, or it will not stay near you. Many are the sorrows of the wicked, but steadfast love surrounds the one who trusts in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, O righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. One of my younger sisters used to always say about me, and sometimes to my face, and still does every now and then, that I was pretty much clueless. Um, and so whenever I read Psalm 32, verse 9, be not like a horse or a mule without understanding. Um, I always think about that, and I always just chuckle a little bit and smile because I spent a lot of time, way too much time, and created a lot of frustration for myself. Especially when I would buy a piece of furniture or a bookcase or toys for my children and they had to be put together. And I spent a lot of time thinking that I was smart enough to know how to put a bookcase together or smart enough to know how to put some children's toy together. And so I, for the most part, I would just ignore the instructions and inevitably I would not get it put together correctly. There would be pieces left over and I'd get frustrated and I'd finally have to pull out the instruction manual and follow it up. It finally dawned on me that the people who designed the bookcase or the piece of furniture or the Christmas toy probably knew how to put it together a lot better than I did. And so nowadays, if I buy something from Ikea or some other store that has to be put together, the first thing I do is I pull out the instructions on how to put it together and I try to follow it step by step. Now, unfortunately, at least for me, a lot of the instructions are just pictures, no words. Um, and I am not a spatial, S-P-A-T-I-A-L person, been told I'm a special person, but I like words instead of just simple diagrams. But anyway, it occurred to me again that the people who put these things together probably have a better idea. And so I should just pull out the instruction manual and, and follow it. Well, the psalmist says the same thing is true in life. Don't be like a horse or a mule without understanding, which must be curbed with a bit and bridle, or it will not stay near you. And many are the sorrows of the wicked, but steadfast love surrounds the one who trusts in the Lord. And if you think about that, it makes perfectly good sense. After all, it is God who made us. He designed us. He created us. He put us together, if you will. He knows how we should think. He knows what's best for us. And he's, he's given us his word. He's given us this book, which has all kinds of guidelines and instructions about how to live life and, and about how to live it well and to avoid some of the pitfalls that we fall into, which just causes anxiety and trouble. And yet a lot of us, choose not to read it, or choose to read it and go, well, that ain't going to work, or choose to read it and just simply think that we know better and not follow it. And again, it finally dawned on me, the good Lord knows what's best for me. And if I would just simply follow and live the way that he has told me to live, my life would be a whole lot better it'd be less frustrating. I wouldn't have near the difficulties that I have when I try to live by my own smarts and by how I think it ought to be done. 
Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, O righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. Steadfast love surrounds the one who trusts in the Lord. The Lord knows what he's doing. And if we would just trust him and live like he wants us to live, our lives would be a whole lot better. Well, I pray you'll have a great day.